stuck on you I've got this feeling down deep in my soul that I just can't lose guess I'm on my way need any friend and the way I feel now I guess I'll be with you till the end guess I'm on Mighty glad you stayed. I'm stuck on you. Been a fool too long. I guess it's time for me to come on home. Guess I'm on. My name is Lynn Atuyambe and I am actually a Muchiga born in Rubanda in Kabale. Born to my late parents, the late Muhimbura Leon and Priscilla. Happy to have come from the deep in the community and that keeps me moving because I keep reflecting on uh, both my profession and the you know, and the pledge I made to serve humanity. My name is Harriet Adong Ekalam Atuyambe. I'm born in Komi district in Eastern Uganda, where the wise men and women are born. My late mom is Mrs. Perepetua Asekenye Ekalam. May her soul rest in peace. My late dad, Mr. Faustin Ochaga Ekalam. You know, 20 years actually, you know, it's 240 months. <laughs> That's something. And if you want to do a bit of more math, it's almost 80,000 days of being together. So I respect that. and. Uh, and uh, and really, I, I feel I feel it's it's been it's been a good engagement. It's been a good learning, and I look forward to, to many more years together. I give gratitude to God. We actually waited on 10th January, so on 10th January this year we had mass at Saint Charles Rwanga Catholic Church, led by Father Edward Mwanga. It was so beautiful. We went to thank God and say, God, thank you for the 20 and we are praying for more. But we also went to renew our vows and also receive the blessing uh, from the priest that comes from God Almighty. Marking 20 years in marriage is extremely exciting for me. I must tell you that I feel an achiever it's been uh, a long journey, but uh, I think a, a journey that has been blessed with a very good relationship and, of course, very nice children. And I think one of the things that has really made that happen is that uh, the Atuyambes are very serious people. The time I have known them, uh, before and after and during their marriage, they take everything serious. And that seriousness, including their spirituality, has been the core of the relationship that has kept them together. The Atuyambes have put God first in their lives. They love God and they love each other. At least I have witnessed that. They cooperate and they put in effort to ensure that their relationship is sustained. I know that uh, Professor Lin and uh, Harriet have been very, very diligent with their God. And also the very big gift that God gave you of those very beautiful little angels. Uh, we thank God for that gift. And I'm very, very sure that that gift of children has been one of the key factors that has led to this very blissful family because they make the family very, very beautiful. I believe the other thing that has also helped this couple to come is what was this journey. Friday evenings is their me time in quotes. 
her and the husband as they go on a date, enjoy themselves, put everything, every other burden out there, put it aside and celebrate life, as in celebrate the two of them. So I feel very proud of them because even when I go to their workplaces, um, everyone has something good to say about them. Everyone is praising their work. They are very hardworking. I, I like that they've led us in the way of the Catholic Church. They've led us very well. So I feel very proud to call them my parents. To be the only son of the Atiambis, they're, they're very, very successful people. In my eyes, they're very successful. Yes, and I like to emulate everything that, that they have taught us and everything that they are. It feels nice and lovely to be called a daughter of their parents because they are very hardworking. I like how they always they are always there for you in when you're happy and when you're sad, and they will do anything for you because they are the best. What has really made me honor my pledge is. One, God. I'm from a God-fearing family. The second thing is the love and consistency from my husband. I always tell my young friends who are not yet married that I took the last best. I pity them. I pity what they are going to find. So my husband is very committed. He's very loving, he's very caring. We talk, we communicate. He's very patient with me. He understands me. He does not judge me. And all that keeps me committed. I imagine there's no other man on this earth other than Professor Tuyam. One of the things I think that is critical is honesty, uh, being true to your word, respect for each other, and being a good listener and not being self-imposing, but also letting, letting, letting things go. Sometimes you do not want to insist on something. Some individuals could insist, but I think it's not a good advice I would give. Let go. But on the other hand, trust in God. Um, Daily Rosary, for example, or the month of May, the month of uh, you know October are uh, great months to keep closer, you know, to God. I think that's a good thing. My message to the to those who are planning to wed or the newly wed, I must re-emphasize communication in marriage. Be friends before you decide to get these rings, before you walk down the aisle. But also the other advice I have is openness. Maybe the other advice is choose a day in a week that is meant for you and your spouse, just the two of you, even children, a third party. Friday is a day for Professor and I. We usually hang out, have a cup of tea. We are Catholics, so we take some wine. So we have a, a bottle of wine together, have our dinner together. Even the children know about this day, that is mommy and daddy's day. Look how far we've come, my baby. We might have took a long way. My role model in this journey is what you are not imagining at the moment. My role model is Joseph and Mary, Mother Mary, and and you know and uh, and Josephu in Rochiga. <laughs> Those are my role models. When you go to church and you listen to the priest giving his teaching or his sermon, and you try to follow that, that is the actual role model, uh, spirituality, uh, in terms of spirituality. Oh, in my marriage, let me tell you, I met Professor and Mrs. Pius Okong. I call Mrs. Pius mom in Zambia, and I call Professor Pius Okong, dad in Zambia. It's an amazing couple. They've been in marriage longer than I have been, 
they have seen me give birth and see me, seen me through childbearing all the children I have had. But, mommy, I look up to you. We've admired a lot about them. Um, personally, my wife is Lisa, just like uh, their first daughter, and uh, our daughter is Hannah, just like their daughter. So you see that subconsciously there are things that uh, you probably have influenced and without even knowing. The Atuyambis love each other. The Atuyambis are always smart. I don't know how they do it, but they are really smart and hospitable. They love family, they love friends, and their home is always accommodative. I wish them success in all that they do, um, in their profession, in their spirituality, and above all, to keep their friends and make sure that they live a happy life. Only pray that they continue to be a shining example of the family in marriage and they keep faith because I believe their faith in, in, has been very instrumental in their relationship. Um, one thing that I leave with you is 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 13, verse 4 to 8, which I, I believe that you already know. I pray that this will be your, your, your morning word and evening word. Harriet Dat Akarere from Gatsabo district in Rwanda is a gift for you. I know when you visited Kigali, you really, really loved it. And it's a gift from you virtually. Love you all. May God bless you. A house plus love equals a family. I wish for them a house full of love. I want their family to be the best. I want to make them proud so that they can live a very long life. I wish for them to see their great-grandchildren. Reverend Father Deo Opure is a young priest who we are foster parents to, and he's back home in Soroti Catholic Diocese serving. Uh, Father, thank you for your prayers. Thank you so much for loving us. We love you. A message for you. My dearest wife is that I love you very much. Keep humble, keep loving as much as possible. Um, you have taken care of me and the children and the extended family. That is really, really good. You are is hardworking with Mochiga. Muteso, and um, I recommend and commend all those individuals who would like to have stability to emulate her. I love you very much. My message to my husband at 20 years of holy matrimony is I love you. I would marry you again if i had the chance to unmarry and choose i would choose exactly you i thank you for the journey we have walked together i thank you for drawing me closer to god uh, thank you for giving me a platform to get exposed and work with international people but also be able to grow professionally and physically I pledge to continue loving you and respecting you and supporting you so that together we can go and support the children. Amina Ngojo Noi Noi and Nikunda Mnonga Haza. Happy 20th anniversary, Mama and Dad. This is why.